The Relay for Life of Yellowstone County takes place this evening. One fundraiser for the event that schools take part in is called Relay Recess. Q2's Jenny Fix sat down with a young lady who's playing a special part. Meet Riley. Her favorite color is pink, and she is a cancer survivor. At age three, doctors discovered a tumor on her spinal cord. In the process of having it removed, Riley became a quadriplegic. She went from a feisty three-year-old to all of a sudden she was bedridden and had a spinal cord tumor, and we never knew what was going to happen. One morning, the doctor said she'd probably never move her hands again. By that afternoon, she was wiggling a finger. You know, your child, you love them unconditionally, but when you see the struggles that they have to go to, your heart just like explodes with um, love and everything for your child. Riley is now a sassy first grader at Huntley Project. I mean, she's just a fighter and she's so strong and oh, she's feisty as ever. <laughs> Riley will not get to be on the track at Relay. When it's too hot outside, she has trouble regulating to cool down, um, but it was great that we were able to do the Relay for recess. The Relay Recess lets students and teachers honor cancer survivors and fighters in their own big way. Shepard and Huntley engage in some friendly competition of fundraising for the Relay called the Battle of the Bridge. They battle it out to see who can raise the most funds uh, for cancer research, but also, also focusing on education for students. I really love doing the survivor walk and I did 20 minutes of laps around the the gym and whatnot and then they released the balloons. That was her favorite part to watch how the balloons go. They had popsicles and snacks and tattoos. Riley's classmates rallied around her. Kids never stare. I mean, we've ish had issues, I guess, with adults doing it. Kids will just go up to her and be like, oh, why are you in your wheelchair? And she'll answer that like, my wheels are my legs. I'm like, oh, okay, hey, you wanna come do this? It's, it's great to see like that, just the kids all coming together and just being kids. Riley may not get to physically attend the relay, but she will be in the hearts of many on the track and we'll have a luminaria with her name on it there. And the luminaria ceremony is absolutely gorgeous because it's twilight. Uh, Relay for Life really does give hope, so when we light those luminarias, it's something truly special. It gives you hope for the future, hope for a cure, and that's really the reason we're there. A day to honor, a day to remember, and a day to keep up the fight. Maybe we can light a fire in them too. Riley's got a fire in her, her mom's got a fire in her, I've got a fire in me, and if we can have more people um, help light the world and, and help us cure cancer, I mean, it makes everything worth it. Every hour, every day, all the things leading up to Relay for in that moment, it's worth it. In Billings, Jenny Fick, MTN News. And Jenny tells us in the future, Riley plans to use her Make-A-Wish to visit the Disney princesses. The winner of the Battle of the Bridge will be announced by the creators of Relay Recess and Relay Grand Marshals at 8.30 p.m. And that's just one of the events that's highlighted this evening. There's so much more going on. All the food vendors, inflatables, face painting, and even a special dunk tank with some faces you will certainly recognize. Kick off at 4 o'clock at the West High Track. The Survivor Dinner inside the West High Gym goes from 5.30 to 6.45. Our own Russ Riesinger and Janelle Slade will be part of the opening ceremonies at 7. And of course, all of the survivors will take to the track for the amazing Survivor's Lap and group photo. The night will be filled with good music, great prizes, and the beautiful Luminaria Ceremony. Fireworks are set to go off at 11.45 and closing ceremonies at 12.45.